subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Learn about Lambda Expression. So Lambda Expression is a new and important feature of Java which was included in Java Standard Edition 8. It will provide a clear and consistent way to represent your coding. It is very useful for collection library. So we can say like uh, it will definitely help you in iterate, filter and exact data of collection. So for this tutorial, we are just going with technical wise. Here we will not represent any coding section. Coding section we will represent in next tutorial. So it will definitely represent it with an interface using an expression. So what kind of expression and what kind of body we will discuss after some time. So it helps to iterate and filter and extract the data from collection. So if you are having data and we are using a collection to iterating. So for us, we need to use for each. So for each will take some time and it will consume some memory. So we can use here Lambda expression. So Lambda expression is used to provide the implementation of an interface which was functional interface. So here we have to use functional interface concept also. And it will definitely save us lots of time and coding. So if we are, use, if we are using Lambda expression, then we don't need to define the method again and again. We just need to write the implementation code and we can easily use. So Java Lambda expression is treated as functional. So compiler don't need to create the class file again and again. So Lambda expression provides implementation of functional interface. So what is functional interface? So functional interface is an interface which was only one abstract method. That means if you are having an interface and that contain only one abstract method, so we can say like it is a functional interface and we can use an annotation also that annotation is known as at the rate functional interface so which will declare an interface of functional interface so if you use that one we can easily identify like okay it is a functional interface so first question why we need to use lambda expression the best thing we need to use less coding another to provide the implementation of functional interface so definitely we don't want to repeat our codes again and again okay so we need to reduce our code we need to refactor our code so definitely we need to move to java 8 functionality now we will discuss about what is the syntax how we will define so i already told that in coding section we will def uh, we'll definitely discuss in next tutorial here i'm just discussing about only functionality so here you can see we are having parenthesis inside argument argument list okay after that we are seeing some expression here and after that we are seeing some body so what is this one so first of all it is called argument list so this argument list can be empty or non-empty it depends on how you are using and here we can say like it is arrow token so what is arrow token so here it is used to link an expression and like this one we can say like definitely it is a uh, used to link argument list and body of expression so first one is argument list second one is arrow token and third one is body so this body will contain our expression and a statement for lambda expression so all of our codes we can implement in the body section so here we can see argument list whatever i said just we can see all the things defined here so in next section we are going to discuss about lambda expression with a coding implementation so we will definitely get whole idea how we will use what is the benefit what is the disadvantage we can see so thanks guys for watching so here we will see all the example with uh, without parameter with single parameter with multi parameter and for each condition also so here i have created already one class his name is the lambda learn okay it having published static vitamin method also now we will see like we have to use interface okay because in lambda expression definitely we have to use functional interface so i'm, I'm starting with old programming concept what we know and how we will call the method in through interface so i'm going to define one a string method method name is a say hello okay so if you want to call this method so what we need to do here first of all we need to create the object of that class okay so i'm going to call this method object name is obj equal to new 
this one here it will override this method say hello and here it is returning null but I want to return as a hello okay so our basic structure everything is ready now we need to print this method if you print then we will get the hello answer so what we have to do first we have to use system dot out dot print ln okay and here we want we need to call hello method so how we'll call we will we can call by using object okay see here if we print here now is ready so if we will run this program we can expect we our output is a hello okay here we can see we are getting output so it is a basic structure of normal calling method now we need to use here lambda expression to call this method so what we'll do here we don't need to do multiple things here okay just remove this one okay and we don't want to again define this here so just remove this one now we will use lambda expression syntax if you remember what we discussed in first tutorial first tutorial we have discussed these things now we will going to use this one so here we have to define method then arrow okay arrow notation then we have to use return hello okay and now run what will happen same thing here we are getting hello or like hello lambda okay now run now we are seeing the output so in previous things we have to define our object then we have to call okay so it is little bit complex way and now it is a very shortest way here our interface it containing one method name is a string okay it will return always a string now we are calling this interface okay here we are defining okay here it is a we discussed about it it consists of three structure okay it is argument list okay first one is argument list next one is arrow token and third one is this one is a full body okay now we will call this method and it automatically it's give the output of hello lambda previous thing we also discussed about we have to use here functional interface so if you use here functional interface it will define as a or it will identify as a lambda expression okay now we'll run again once again so this is a first basic example of lambda expression so next tutorial we will see with single parameter so without any parameter we are getting the output of hello lambda and it was a basic example now we are proceeding with single parameter so I'm starting with here I'm just going to change as a int okay and here I have to pass one parameter I'm passing as an integer and what we have to do here here I don't want this one also from here to here I'm going to remove okay previously we are not passing any argument but now I am going to pass one argument is num okay now what will happen here I am expecting some num plus 10 okay so here what we have defined here here it is object of this class okay this class contain one method okay this is a one method okay here I am not calling say hello but you can see here we have discussed in first tutorial always lambda expression consists of only one abstract method okay so definitely it can easily identify it is calling his okay and here I am passing one argument okay so this is a one argument and what will happen here whatever argument you are passing plus 10 suppose if I pass here 10 then 10 plus 10 we can expect here 20 output so we can see what we are getting here output okay just go click here and just pass here 10 okay now we'll run this program and what we are getting output we will see 
see here we are getting output 20 so it is a very best way and very easy easiest way so try to go with this one previously what we are using it was old concept now try to improve and try to use every places lambda expression if it is required and it is very very useful and it's very easy thanks guys and please subscribe the page and my channel thanks guys one parameter and we are getting output as a 20 we are just passing only one parameter now i am going to implement with two parameter now i am also using a return type as an integer so here what i will do here int b okay so now this is a method that method will take two input so we can say it is a multiple parameter and here we are passing previously one parameter now i am going to pass one more parameter like uh, num1 okay now i have to use here num one also okay i am passing two parameter and i make into argument list and it is a array of token and it is our body so that body i can expect here whatever the parameter values i am passing it will give the addition of both number so here i am just going and passing here 20 okay now what will happen we can see what kind of output we are getting we will we are getting a 30 output so how it's working first of all i want to go and discuss with a step by step if you are not understanding lambda expression till now okay here i am using one interface okay that interface name is example it consists one annotation is functional interface here it having one method that method name is a say hello and it uh, it is a two parameter type okay input here we here it is uh, here for calling this method we have to pass two input that is uh, all our integer so here i am calling this interface creating one object equal to okay equal to here i am defining just a method but i am not giving any name so in lambda expression we have to just create only one abstract method so here it is my one abstract method okay that method is here and that is required two parameter so i am passing two parameter now it is an array of token okay or we can say like uh, token list okay arrow of token okay so here we have to define our body so body i'm defining a first parameter plus second parameter i'm getting i am expecting some output of addition of both two number so here i am using system dot out print ln obj so this is object dot which method say hello method okay and say hello method and what i'm passing input 10 and 20 so 10 20 is going here and here doing addition and and we are getting 30 output so please guys subscribe now in next tutorial we are going to learn through for each iteration thanks guys the expression without parameter with single parameter with multi parameter now we are going to iterating collection using for each so here i don't need to use interface so i am going to remove this interface concept till now here I also don't want this one line okay so everything is clean now I am going to create one collection of list so how we'll define here so we can define here list okay that list uh, I want as a, a string okay and here I'm going to give name as a anything like list okay no problem list equals to new array of list and so here I'm expecting as a type of integer sorry string okay so here it will show you error because I have to import first of all so list utils okay so here we have defined our list now I have to add some values here so how will I add the value so list dot add and you can define here name like uh, Alex okay Alex next uh, next thing same you can change our name or you can add some more name here list dot add mark so similarly you can go and add some more name so I'm just going and 
adding all this name so here change ally and bob okay bob so this is a simple list that consists of four name now i need to iterate using lambda expression so previously if you use simpler concept we can use for each loop and we can easily iterate so using lambda expression how we will do this one so it's very easy what you have to do just use list dot for each here for each it will take consumer then super string okay so here we are using lambda expression so i will show you perfectly so here what kind of things we can expecting here it is name so it is a variable so i'm defining it is a local one okay so like uh, we can say here it is argument list okay and i am calling our token arrow now i want my printing statement system dot out dot print ln okay and what i can expect here names okay see here now if i will run what will give output see now we are getting all the names lx mark la bob so how it is doing first we are getting confused or some new users getting confused so it is a list okay it is a variable list dot i am using for each iteration okay for each iteration i have given so whenever you are defining for each after that we are declaring okay what kind of things so it is a type of a string okay so here given okay name as i am giving as a names okay so names see here you can see it is a string names okay and here it is a string okay given a string and then i am giving our arrow token then i want to print so system dot print talent print of what what do you want to print i want to print all the name so this name means this name okay so it will go and it will call the list okay so list dot for each so for everyone then names every string will give see the output so this is a basic and uh, perfect way to use list in lambda expression or lambda expression we can usually use so we can use also here if you want to some uh, definitely only one name like mark so here you can easily see also so next tutorial we will see these things thanks guys and please subscribe our channel list okay that that is name is a list store okay so he having uh, some values of some names so it is a string type so i have given here some name so if we are using for a previous one like without lambda expression we can use for each loop and we can get the output but here i am proceeding with lambda expression so we can get the output with so many types different ways so first of all i am starting with simpler so list dot for each then define our names so names then use arrow token then just use sys dot out okay or it is if, if it is not coming try to use system dot out dot print ln and ln of what names okay so if you run here you will see what you are getting the output so here you are getting output of all the names so now i want to get only la name okay so how we will get to get here using if in lambda expression so it is also a simpler way so i am starting with list dot for each okay again give the variable name names i given here then use this arrow token then go down and use okay so what 
I want here. I want like if LA is come, then it will show hello image. Okay, so just use if condition, then C or like uh, you can say LA because C name is not we have added here. So if LA dot equals equals of what names then I want output as a it's out hi LA okay so these things if I will run it will give the first four name so I don't want to again print this one so I'm just commenting right now so if I will run here I can see here hi elites coming so it is a way to iterate for each loop using lambda expression and using lambda expression we can also use if condition and there is one more way using a stream and meta reference also so we will see a step by step everything so now I am proceeding with meta reference so how I, I want to iterate all names these names again so how will I iterate so again I am just commenting this one because I am going to give you very shortcut and very best way to, to learn you if I will teach you then you will learn and you can also apply this thing so it is a very best way meta reference so it is a very simple so list dot for each then just use system dot out then use meta reference of what print ln so if you do this one then what will happen when you run here you can see all the names so previously we have to use this kind of things so here if you use method reference you will get easily output in one line so it is the benefit of lambda expression now I am going to use a stream of getting same thing so again I am going to comment this one now I am going with a stream in lambda expression so how we will use a stream so it's very simple just to use list dot stream then go down then use your filter okay filter of what the filter of we are getting the names okay names then arrow then what which name we, we want to iterate so I am going to iterate with mark name okay so here use uh, names dot equals equals of home so equals of I want a name as a mark okay so if it will happen then what we need to get response so if it will happen then I want to use for each then method reference stem dot out then then just try to print that name in next line I'm expecting so if I will run you can see here I am getting name as a mark so if you want Alex also you can use so it is the best way to just iterate that same name it will give the output so we have seen all things now we'll see some more stuff regarding lambda expression